what's up guys welcome back to my channel i have not done a favorites video new in things i'm loving type of video in so long and i just felt like sitting down and sharing with you guys some of these things some stuff is not directly linkable but obviously you guys know i always try to find something similar and then of course there's a ton of stuff that is linkable let's go ahead and get started i have shoes pants bags a hat singular one hat let's start off with the jewelry this is a beautiful set that i got gifted from unfortunately a brand i do not know how to pronounce i'm gonna put the name somewhere here they just sent it to me and i am so in love it's called the colby necklace and colby bracelet you buy them separately i get so many compliments on them look what it does for just like my normal everyday stack so so cute this is that h&m dress that i share with you guys in one of my vlogs a while ago and i'm wearing sweatpants currently with this dress because comfy life okay anyways that is the jewelry I wanted to share with you guys that I've been really, really loving. I'm gonna just go and jump in with shoes. Shoes, shoes, shoes. These Zara slides, I got, I got them on sale, but they might be linkable, they might not. Maybe I can find them on like Poshmark for you guys. They are so good and I wore them to death in San Diego and they are real leather and they have this antique gold feature here. But basically, in a nutshell, if I can't find these, this is a type, this is the type of vibe I've been loving on loafers um, or mules or clogs, like this chunkier metal bit on a very simple silhouette shoe. Just really, really love these. When I posted these, you guys kind of went bonkers and a lot of you guys said that you bought them full price, but would do it again. And honestly, I would, I would have bought these full price. I am so obsessed with them. So love these from zara next i like to call these like going out shoes even though we don't really like go out but we go to like dinner i would wear these during the day easily but they are my cute mule quilted i think bottega dupes i don't know i i'm pretty sure that these are like dupes for a bottega these are from jeffrey campbell love um these are real leather absolutely love them i actually purchased these from nordstrom rack first and i was so in love with them and i knew they came in black so i went to go back online to order them in black and they were sold out so that was my luck and then the closest thing i found to them were the jeffrey campbell ones which these actually do come in a beige color that i like more than the other ones that are sold out so i'm gonna link these for you guys if i didn't have this other beige color from nordstrom rack i would definitely buy these in the jeffrey campbell beige color but so incredibly comfortable elevates any look obviously you can wear these with dresses but with jeans and a cute top i think that this is sort of everything and i feel like the quilted vibe gives a little bit more of a fall feel so i think that these are going to be a really good transitional cute little going out heel as well for fall with just some jeans and a nice blouse or a cute trouser and a cute simple t-shirt and a nice bag I don't know really really love these totally 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 comfortable next pair are a pair of sneakers i'm yet to wear i've been holding on to them because i haven't i didn't really know for sure i was going to keep them or not but i'm just so obsessed with them that i'm going to keep them and they are my jordan my jordan ones i actually got a notification from nordstrom that they were in stock in the big kid sizes so luckily my foot is a woman's eight which is a big kid six and a half so i do not have to pay the adult price point i could pay the big kid price point and this is the color i think raspberry white and black or black white and raspberry i'm not quite sure but this looks red but it's not it has more of like a raspberry hue and i really really love that it has a little bit more of like a feminine vibe because they're very you know tomboy streetwear and i'm just obsessed these with some of the jeans that i'm going to share with you guys right now i think are going to be bomb in the fall time and obviously this is a really good neutral pair of sneakers with just a pop of color and i wear a ton of neutrals so this is going to be very fun to style let's move on to jeans those were the shoes let's move on to jeans my absolute favorite cut of jean pair of jeans 
that I have come across are from Cotton On and they are called the Long Straight Leg. I talked about these again in a vlog. I think I even showed you guys how they fit me. I'm gonna pop on a picture from Instagram of wearing these. They are so, so good. They're high-waisted. They're a little loose so that they give you a little bit more of like a flattering fit. I have them in a size six and they come in multiple different washes. They do come very, very long though. So you might have to hem them yourself, which is fine because it gives it a cute little raw cut. And these are the ones with the cuts in the knees, but I know that they also have them without cuts in the knees. I have them in a blue color, but they're size eight and they're a little bit too big on me. I'm thinking about selling those on my Depop, but I'm just so obsessed with this style of jean and I like that they're more of like a rigid jean. It makes it more, makes it feel like a more genuine pair of denim, kind of like Levi's. So really, really love these. I'm curvy. So anybody that's curvy that has a hard time finding jeans, kind of like the baggy Zara ones, this is such a good alternative. So, 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 so good. Probably the same price point as Zara, just so you guys know. Next pair of jeans are from Target. And Target has been killing it. I've been obsessed with Wild Fable and also to the brand A New Day. They just have been doing so, so well. So these are a high-waisted pair of straight jeans that have this fun checkerboard pattern on them. Love, love, love these. These are a really good dupe for the brand Ragged Priest. They do bold colored checkered pants but i just feel like these are a little bit more toned down because it's just denim on denim checkered and just these just look so good on and so flattering i got these again in a size six could probably do a size four they're kind of loose but i like that feeling of like a little bit of looseness so very very cute so in love with them last but not least is Another pair of jeans that I really, really love. They're by the brand BDG from Urban Outfitters. Got these in a size 27, high-waisted, holes in the knees, perfectly hemmed for my 5'7 height, okay? Perfectly hemmed. If you're a little bit shorter, you can hem them yourself. Obviously, they, do, they have a raw hem, so it's not really a big deal. If you cut it yourself and wash it, it'll make this exact same vibe on the bottom. Fraying, frayingness, that's not a word, fray. Okay, very, very cute, comfortable, and I would size down in these. Usually I'm a 28, so these I got in a 27, and they fit perfect. Another item from Target is this cute black hat that is, again, another really good transitional piece from summer to fall, obviously because of the color, and I live in Southern California, so there's gonna be a lot of sun even up until October. We have heat, we have warm days, so I think that this is gonna be phenomenal for those days. I wore this on 4th of July, I got a lot of compliments on it, and it's from the brand Universal Thread from Target. I would try it on for you guys right now, but my hair is nicely slicked. I'll just show you guys a picture of it on um, when I wore it, and yeah super cute love 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 next up is my little dupe for a mini hermes kelly now i am so in love with this bag i'm yet to wear it i just recently got it i found it on poshmark ridiculously good price point supposedly it's real leather i think it is because this seller has a lot of nice like bags on her poshmark but anyways, look how cute this is. And this is a dupe, it's not a replica. There's zero markings of it saying a brand or anything, not even the brand that it actually came from. But when she sent it to me, I noticed it was in this dust bag, Lillian Bean, dirty dust bag, but it's okay. And I went on the Lillian Bean website and they do have bags like this. They just have thicker straps. And Lillian Bean is a really good like dupe handbag website. They do a lot of collaborations with bigger Instagrammers and influencers for the tote that they're known for which it kind of looks like a chanel deville and you can get it personalized with your letters and i think that brand is really cute i've seen them before i did not know they make kelly dupes but they do but the one on their website comes with a thicker strap and not one of these so i'm not a hundred percent sure that i don't know if she just used this dust bag to send this in but i'm almost positive this is identical to the 19 centimeter Lillian Bean heady bag. I think that's what it's called on their website. I'm going to put a picture of it. To be honest with you, if I, I would have found that before I found this on Poshmark, I probably would have just ordered straight from the website, but I didn't know. I just found this randomly on Poshmark and was like, oh my God, that's such a good dupe to kind of play out and see if this is a bag that I would ever want to invest in one day one day. That is a very unrealistic wish list item, but I don't want to ever say never 
because we don't want to put that negative energy out there. So maybe one day I'll end up with a real mini Hermes Kelly. But for now, this is so freaking cute. This color is everything and I'm just obsessed with it. I'll show you guys with the strap on. Um, just in case if maybe the Lily and Bean ones come with the thick strap and the thin strap. I don't really know. But this is what it looks like on. It's so, so cute. Love it on the shoulder. And then obviously just like this with the little top handle. So cute. And my iPhone 11 Pro Max fits in this bag. Just in case you want to get the Lily and Bean one. It's the exact same size just so you know. And the Lily and Bean ones say that they're real leather as well. So if this came from it, I'm almost positive it did. Maybe back when she purchased it, whoever owned this previously, they used to sell it with this strap and they stopped selling it with this strap. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But that is the tea of this cute little dupe of the mini kelly so obsessed next we're going to talk about handbag straps and you guys kind of went bonkers when i shared the different straps on on my saint laurent toy lulu bag how freaking cute is this top handle on this bag changes the vibe a hundred million percent granted the vibe of this bag with the little leather strap that it comes with is amazing as well so story behind this bag i originally was gonna get it in red but i just kept really obsessing over the look of this bag in black with the gold hardware it's just there's just something about it not that i want to have a million little black bags with gold hardware you guys know i got rid of my gucci marmot bag in black and gold hardware no regrets i am now saving that money to wait and fund a porcelain rose mini gucci marmot that pops up magically on the pre-love market and good in good condition and a good price but until then it's fine and my black chanel mini bag is something i realized i am not taking a concert we have concerts so many concerts lined up i'm not taking that bag to concerts i really don't really like wearing that bag so much when i go out to dinner with my kid my <laughs> My baby is almost two years old and she likes to play with her food. Her hands get really dirty. Yes, I clean her, but I still have to put on my bag and pick her up before I go to the bathroom to wash her hands and stuff like that. So the chance of her touching the Chanel is just a little cringe worthy. Um, I love the Chanel, but I am also too having problems and issues with it that the essay seems to be completely ignoring me about and that is a whole nother video another day so i just felt like black was the right color for this um it's perfect for going out it's the perfect price point this is such a good beginner luxury designer bag price point and in my opinion it's the best lulu because the strap is removable so you get the vibe of a very casual leather bag but at the same time because it's a flap and the fact that it's removable and you can pop on a chain makes it a completely different look so this is the other strap that i purchased from etsy and it's actually under like if you look up saint laurent chain strap replacements i found this on etsy and they make it in the antique gold that matches the antique gold on this bag also oh, perfectly i'll show you guys what this looks like on but quickly this strap i found off of a really cute girl's instagram i'll put her name somewhere on the screen she had she has this bag on instagram and when i'm obsessed with the bag i like to look at it for, on the hashtag on instagram on pinterest everywhere youtube and i found her and she linked these straps on her instagram from amazon and she also linked this gold strap too but i um, ended up purchasing that strap as well but i like to keep it on my pochette accessories i think that's such a cute little shoulder length for this bag the gold is wrong for this bag but i still thought it was a good price point to purchase as well the gold is wrong on this one as well but this is for actually a replacement strap or an added strap for the neo noe kind of um obviously it's not real louis but it's just so dang good you can't really see that gold too much and then this one is just everything so i'm gonna pop on the chain strap really quick even if you were to keep the the top handle strap with this chain strap it makes it kind of look like the collage bag which is funny because this bag is so much cheaper than the collage bag and in my opinion way better okay let's pop on the chain you guys I'm so obsessed you can get this chain in different lengths but i got it in the shortest length because i wanted to be able to still wear it on my shoulder 
And also, too, I really like the vibe of shorter crossbody bags. And with the chunky chain, I think it kind of has like this really cool edgy feel. So, you guys, St. Laurent Toy Lulu is where it's at. You can wear this so many different ways if you just use your imagination with different straps, not use your imagination. You can actually do it and change this bag into different things. I personally think that this, the quality of this bag leather-wise is better than my Chanel bag and it makes me sick to my stomach that my Chanel bag is double the price point. And these are just so fantastic. I ended up scoring this well below retail price on Fashion File, it was in excellent condition. And you could just buy these on the pre-loved market for a really good price point, or you can buy them brand new and get a discount code from like Saks or Farfetch. Saint Laurent a lot of the time is part of the sales. So you can buy this bag brand new, but not pay retail if that makes sense. So I am so, so in love in love with this bag i'm not gonna lie it's not my only luxury designer bag purchase recently um, but you guys know i'm completely redoing my handbag collection and i swapped a lot of things with my handbag funds for more handbags if that makes sense um, but i've been kind of on like a little mini bag kick obviously this is not designer price point but still leather cute really cute bag so yeah those are the chains and i know i have so many different really quickly so many different chains for the push out accessories but i feel like a shoulder chain strap i have a long crossbody one that i've had for years you guys know from amazon but a shoulder chain strap on this changes the game like this is now a cute little black tie bag elegant cute obviously t-shirt and jeans come on that's what i wear all the time but so so cute Anyways, I just wanted to do this video. I've not done a favorites video in a really long time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope everybody is well and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.